Meteorologist Nick Jansen. Temperatures today, again, well above average. That has been a theme pretty much all winter long, right? So we had our warmest meteorological winter on record. And here's a picture to kind of prove it. This was from Kirsten earlier today. She took these photos about a year apart. So 2023, that's up in Lake City on Lake Pepin. You can see the difference. Not a ton of snow on the ground, but a lot of ice on the water. And then 2024, well, we lost a tree there. Uh, out in Lake City. You can see there's the difference there, but look at the difference between the water, open water on Lake Pepin right now compared to the ice that we normally have this time of year. And of course, that's the big talker, right? It's been so warm. We haven't had snowfall. We've really lacked the snow and just the precipitation as a whole throughout uh, the winter months. And we're still technically in winter, even though meteorological speaking, we're in spring. This season, we've accumulated 11.9 inches of snowfall. That is is over 30 inches below the seasonal average. This time last year, we had 50.2 inches of snowfall. And really, you have to date all the way back to 1967 to 1968 of where we've had uh, snowfall accumulations through February below a foot. And the last time that happened, well, pretty much all the way back, 67 and 68. And then another similar season was back in 53-54 in terms of our snowfall accumulations. If we didn't see any snow the rest of the season through March, April, and of course even May, uh, we would end with 11.9. That would put us at the third least snowiest winter on record. And the last time we've had numbers like this, that's dating back to 2011 to 2012. That 67 and 68 year that I talked about through February with only 8.3 inches of snowfall, we ended up with just 9.1. And that's the lowest we've ever had with snowfall. It was warm today. I'll step out of the way. Beautiful sunset here tonight uh, from some of our viewers. We have Tim, David, Gary, and Bob sending in those wonderful sunset photos. Thanks for sending all those in. And hopefully we can share some more sunset photos in the coming days as hopefully everyone can join that KTDC Weather Photo Community Group on Facebook. We're up to 6.3 uh, 6 thousand people in that group. So all you have to do is search KTDC Weather Photos. Join there. A ton of sunset photos. Can't show them every night. And of course, getting prepared for Garden Gallery right around the corner. We'll have that starting up fairly soon. Here's what to expect coming up tonight. Mostly clear and quiet midweek. Highs in the 50s, some sunshine, some sunshine. I do think there's more clouds on the way Wednesday and Thursday. Isolated rain chance then by Friday. Now outside here tonight, everything quiet, 36. Wind out of the east-northeast, that drops our feel like conditions down in the low 30s. Temperatures locally, most of us still mid-30s, upper 20s right now in Dodge Center, Mason City, and Forest City. Future track radar filtering in some cloud cover from the west, thicker clouds down to the south of I-90 here tonight, and we'll stay about mainly clear with those high-level clouds tonight. I think we see some peaks of sunshine into the morning and maybe into the afternoon, but I do think we pull in some cloud cover from the west tomorrow. Shouldn't hinder our temperatures. We're back to the 50s for highs again tomorrow. Tonight, overnight lows, 25 for the low, mainly clear, chilly here tonight, so wind out of the southeast. Temperatures tomorrow, 50 for the high. Notice we increase that cloud cover throughout the day, so we'll see some sunshine early on and then eventually uh, partly sunny, probably late in the day. 10-day forecast here, 52 for the high on Thursday, partly cloudy. We look towards Friday, the chance for some isolated showers on the way Friday. Saturday, high temperatures, low 40s. That's still above average. And then next week, we'll get close to some record temperatures on Tuesday. The record high for Tuesday is 67. Right now, the forecast is high at 67. So pretty warm, 57, 67, 62, 59. Yeah. So even next week, no snow chances right. in the near future. Do you know, um, just from overall research, that when we have a snow deficit, does it automatically mean we're going to have a drought? I not mean, necessarily. Not necessarily. Okay. Not necessarily, especially if we transition to La Nina. There's been some mm. talk that if we do quickly transition to a La Nina phase out in the right. Pacific, that could lead to maybe an above average storm season come okay. late April into May. So we'll have to see how that all works. That's good to know because a lot of people are still really remembering last summer. We had some how serious dry drought yeah. issues here. So that's not what we right. want. So fingers crossed that yep. we kind of change that out in the Pacific and then hopefully we see yeah. some rain. Okay. Maybe some action coming our way. Okay. Thank you, Nick.